Yeah, there are few things in this world that make me a giggling child That take me to a simple time when things weren't quite as wild One of those very special things that does it every time Is a donut and a glass of milk and makes me feel so fine Everybody loves donuts Welcome to the Donut Shop, episode 15. So today we've got me, Will. I'm Ryan, I'm back. <laughs> Sal. No, fucking Sal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, screw it. Casey. McLovin. Right. <laughs> That's my name. I'm 35 Kate. You didn't get to say it, so I said it. All we've right. got a very special guest, uh, one of our teachers, a man that I aspire to be like. He's an athlete, a comedian. He's a great guy. Mm-hmm. Great Mr. Mr. Valdez. Right. Okay, so to let you know how this works, the way we do it is everyone nominates one topic, mm-hmm. and everyone gets one vote. Okay. But you cannot vote for your own topic. Okay. All right, so today I'm going to nominate retro video games. Mm-hmm. What do you want to nominate? The existence of God. We'll be here for hours. <laughs> <laughs> nominate that one as well, sir. No, no you, yeah, you have to nominate for the one. You've been on the show. No. no. I won't go for the pieces of God, I'm sorry. All right, Casey. I nominate puppies. <laughs> I want to nominate the existence of hell. <laughs> come on. We'll oh. be here for hours right, either way. Um, comics. In general. I nominate Star Wars. Ooh, I like electricity. Star Wars. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to vote for God. God. Star Wars. I vote for God. I love I retro video games. For voting for God, I'm leaving. Sorry, are you religious? No, I'm not religious. But what's your problem? But I mean, when I get started, <laughs> when I get started, <laughs> when I get started, it's been a while. When he gets started, he never stops. What's up? What are you gonna vote for? Oh, of course, God. We well, can't vote for yourself. That's what. What the? Oh, then I'll do. Of of hell. Uh, I'll do Star Wars then. Oh, Star it's Wars. three for Star Wars, three for God. Marcus. Say Star breaker. Wars. Tiebreaker. Say God. Say Star Wars. Star Wars. Flip a coin. God. Star Wars. Say God. No. Just say Star God. Wars. God. God. Okay, God. okay, we're doing good. Well, Star Wars God. I'm leaving. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, it'll be, be fun. Imaginary entity <laughs> that is not necessary. All right, so Bird. what's Don't this, uh, me, Ryan. What's this sort of pseudo self-made religion you've come up with? It's not a, a religion. It's the opposite of a religion. Religion implies a belief in the supernatural. I just believe that those things that exist are those things that we have already we have evidence for, or we have some sort of past history or logical reason to believe exists. So for example, I don't believe that there's elves on the other side of the moon, because there's no damn proof of that. There's no evidence to just suggest that. But why should we believe that there's an invisible man in the sky who's guiding every single action? Okay, pointless. fair enough. It's pointless. Mm-hmm. It's pointless. Uh, what was it you called yourself? Uh, tooth fairy I'm agnostic? tooth fairy agnostic. <laughs> that means is I don't believe that there, I can't prove that there's no God, but I think it's as likely as the tooth fairy, basically. And I'll, uh, do you want to know why I went down this well, dark what's path? That? What's that? I'm going to tell you right now. Mm. It's all about Samson from the Bible. Huh. You guys know the story of Samson? Yeah. No. Okay. Why don't you tell us for the people that All right. Know. For a basic overview of it, Samson was a dude who got, he was basically like the Hulk in the <laughs> Bible. He had super strength, and it was all based on God gave him super strength. The longer his hair was, the more buff he was, and the more power he had. And so the Bible talks about him being like this, like the first superhero, basically. And as a kid, I was like, oh, that's tight, dude. Samson can do all this cool stuff. He destroys his enemies. He's righteous as hell. And he has, like, superpower. But then the whole that I got, I started reading the story again. I was like, wait a minute. This Samson story doesn't check out. Because I'm cool with, like, I get it. Like, his one power is he's super strong. But then everything else should make sense, right? Everything else in his life. Like, he should be the, that's the only power he got was super strength. But when Samson first got superpowers, um... He kills a bunch of his enemies. The guy kills like 400 enemies. In one sitting, he murders them with the jawbone of an ass. This is in the Bible. You can read this. Mm-hmm. So he takes this bone from a donkey, and he runs and murders 400 people. I can't buy that because what the heck? What are these 400 guys doing? If I saw a dude kill five people, 
I'd be the hell out of there. If I saw a dude kill 10 people, I'd be screaming and running as fast as I could. If I saw a guy kill 300 people, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'd be like, we got to go. It. Yeah, oh. so, and, and Tamsin doesn't have super speed. So how is he killing so many people? Are these 400 people, like, lined up? They're, Are they just, like, waiting fat. for him? Yeah, down. yes. Are these 400 obese people just rolling about <laughs> on the floor, waiting for him, waiting for their waiting turn for to die? And so yeah. it's like the thing is, it's like you're in the middle of the desert. Where are you going to find a bunch of different settlements? And who chooses a, a donkey's bone <laughs> to be your main <laughs> weapon? What of any bone? Horse's jaw. Like, his horse's jaw is other scary shit. He did donkey's jaw. How did, what is this? Like, it made out of admantium? Like, it makes it, no. <laughs> like, it would break, right? Like, bones break. How do you just claw But if you're going to grab one dudes? bone, why not grab, like, the femur or something that's actually, like, big and, like, could bash people's skull and you're going to grab the jaw bone? I like, like to think that all the bones were laid out and he just picked one up at a time and just. <laughs> <laughs> Started with her jaw. Like yes. the, the drums. drums. He yeah, the drums yes, yes. Head. He, was he like, played the drums with 300 people. Right, yeah, he started the jawbone. He started biting people with it, and then that broke, and then he moved over to the femur and did everything else, like tailbone and killed 10 people with that. But, like, that doesn't make it doesn't make any sense, right? Like, 400 people, they're getting seen this, like, murder. He just pushed them off. started running. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. well, he chased them sense. off a cliff with the jawbone. Like, he killed five people, and they all started running, and he chased them off a cliff. That should but be in the Bible. I should add that to the Bible. Now it makes more sense to me that we're in there, but that's not what it says. So Wait, like, they're all fat. I thought, yes. I thought we Well, we added that. that. We added that to the Bible. That's not in there. We'll write a Bible we'll call it the New the edition. We need to make it more logically consistent because here's the thing. I started doing the math on that. Like, how many people could you kill in a minute? Because he don't have super speed. He's just strong, right? So maybe he kills, like, every 10 seconds he kills a dude, right? So that's six people per minute. But he has to kill 400 dudes, right? So that's whatever, 400 divided by six. So we're talking about like what 45 minutes goes by while he's murdering them and like what are these people doing the, during like, the entire four minutes? Just kind of standing there idly, <laughs> just exactly. They what is this like? They weren't so. They were bad. I guess they were bad guys. Maybe they were thugs. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. But even if they were, like, they're not going to, like... Well, I mean, if you, like, ran into, like, the middle of an army while they were doing their marching, I guess that could work. <laughs> but they'd <laughs> probably kill you first. Yeah, but they would still see something. Like, there'd be some dude in the back being like, nope, this is not going to be me. And he turns around and books it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that was the beginning of the end of religion for me. <laughs> it goes all downhill. Not like Spring. the Canlis' story. No, 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 no. Nothing no. nothing bad happened to me in life. Everything's been really good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the old man. I, yeah, no, no, no hardship. Hey, let's no change suffering. my religion because right. I died. Yeah, it wasn't like everyone died in my life and I like dropped to my knees and there was like rain coming down and I was like, there is no God. No, oh, God. God. It's, it's, sad. It's, sad. Yeah. it's sad how I it stopped was... being religious though was when my mom. Hey, what's up, guys? When I was 10 and my mom told me Santa Claus wasn't real, I was uh. like, then Jesus can't be real either. And she was like, oh, no, he's real. I was like, if a guy can't deliver presents, then how is a guy supposed to deliver? eternal salvation <laughs> that is terrible <laughs> personally i think it's a little sad that that people think that jesus exists but santa claus doesn't i mean between mm -hmm. the two of them santa claus is a little bit cooler yeah like, <laughs> let's be honest like what did jesus do he did like i guess he made water to wine that's cool well, I guess. Santa claus well, at least we're not debating that there was a saint nicholas yeah yeah but yeah they kind of like Took that story and ran with it, right? They, 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 they amped him up a little bit, you know. That's, that's who uh, Coca Cola changed Santa Claus into how he is today. A yeah. polar bear, right? No. no just Wait, like what? His drink just like his full deal. I thought the Coca Cola. So they do it just to sell more soda? Pretty much. They made Santa Claus more important? No, no, no. Like they, they changed him to how commercialized. He is. Yeah. Mm. Bring joy and everything. How he idealized Santa Claus. Because, you know, bubbly sugar makes you happy. Right. Of course. Therefore, it's liquid Christmas. joy. I don't, I, still, I don't know if I follow the, the, the connection Christmas. there. Yeah, I don't get it because it's not like on Christmas. I'm like, oh, dude, I need a Coke. Like, I don't <laughs> get the connection. And you there. party with penguins and polar bears. Of I'm more of a That's Pepsi true. fan anyway. Mm. Uh. Who did Pepsi make? Are they responsible for the Easter Bunny? Because I'm curious about that one, too. I, I wonder about Pepsi sometimes, too. Where did that come from? Where did he, yeah, I agree. I like, how does he lay eggs, first I was, of all? I was actually reading eggs. the other day. Um, why does a rabbit lay eggs? I don't why, they, why is his poop so full of candy? <laughs> that's diabetes. That's, that's, like, that's I, diabetic. Once I learned about yeah. the eggs coming out of the uh, Easter's but? bottom end, <laughs> trying to be, you know, positive anyways so when i learned about that i was like five mom's like i'm like where does the candy come from she's like oh it comes out of the easter bunny and i'm mm -hmm. like what mm -hmm. i did not eat easter candy for the next five years until i learned that the easter bunny was fake. well i didn't either because my parents always bought peeps 
Uh, and, uh, oh. oh no, you're a bad person then. The uh, peeps. <laughs> you're the mistaken. Vomit. You don't like peeps. Nobody likes peeps. Okay, no. I don't like peeps. They're the worst candy ever. They're almost as bad as candy corn. Uh, really? <laughs> I hate candy corn. No. It means colored candy wax. Is good. Not, not even, not even the candy. only people who eat candy corn and peeps are like 80 year old Republicans. That's the only <laughs> who eat that I'm candy. pretty sure I'm libertarian <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm not 80. <laughs> Candy corn is terrible, dude. It's like black licorice. It's it's oh, those mint no. candies. It's like the bottom of the barrel. That's the stuff that went on, Chris, on it's Halloween. That's the stuff you don't want on Halloween. You're yeah. Just like, that's the stuff that's that in your bag corn. like months after when Christmas rolls around and it's still there. And yeah, because no it. one's ever touched it and sits there. And it's fine because candy corn never goes bad. Yeah. That's why it's the same bags of candy corn that are always passed around year from year. <laughs> you just hold it and the next Halloween you give it to somebody else. And they don't need to make any more candy corn because nobody ever eats it and it never goes bad. And it was we all made in 1911. <laughs> yes, yes. So God. Unless you go to Walmart and you start so chucking on that. <laughs> oh, uh, going back so, to Easter. Yes, I would actually thing. give candy corn a purpose if it was used as a weapon. I would agree with that. I like chucking <laughs> candy. That's how we killed the 400 people. He just gave them all candy corn. Oh, no. <laughs> just, there going go. back to Whoa. Easter, um, I was reading yesterday. It, it, I don't. I don't think it was a pagan holday, but like it was some goddess where yep, the yeah, egg and the bunny Rabbits were signs of fertility. fertility. Ah. And when the Christian Empire got all huge and everybody started getting all religious, they were like, oh, and they let's turn this Easter holiday into a Christian thing and make it about Jesus." Same thing with Christmas, mm, right? Yeah. right? Right, right. Christmas was so this, yeah, solstice. So is a biz of biz of. Bizit is from goddess from uh, Byzantine, and that she, yeah. her symbols were like the rabbit and the egg, and they symbolized fertility. And it was a holiday called Easter, and they right. made it religious. just like all the other holidays we can't get rid of. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So everything comes from some other source, basically. That no one can seem to finish off. Right. And Christianity ripping off like other people's day. religions <laughs> since who knows when. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Since zero AD. I don't know if you guys since ever zero uh, AD. heard about how Christmas is celebrated in other countries, but I think we should do it their method because their methods are, are insane. Like I don't know if you guys know this, but um, in Spain they believe that Santa Claus is followed by six to eight black men. He doesn't have <laughs> elves. He has six to eight black followers. Uh, and they're just considered, yeah. <laughs> let's, go and join, let's go and join up. <laughs> right. Sign up. So, I don't know. That seems racist. The one white man's in charge of a group. <laughs> but he has six to eight black like followers. And, that, uh, and I like this version of it. Apparently, when you're bad, what Santa Claus does is they, they show up at your house and they put a, 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 a case around you. They basically kidnap you, drag your ass over to Spain, well, you're kidnapped, and your parents then have to ask for you back, and they kick you throughout this process. So in Spain, <laughs> Santa Claus is like a kidnapper. He shows up with like a gang of dudes, and they kick your ass, and then hold you hostage for what you did. So badly. instead of coal, you get bagged and kicked by black guys. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of that's their it's version. Cool <laughs> and I kind of dig it, I'll be honest. I think this cold thing is kind of lame. I think we should get a little bit uh, uh, more extreme. Fun. Yeah, it's, a little, it a, it's a little weird, because in it's Russia... <laughs> <laughs> the um, Christmas is basically you go, you do whatever you do Christmas Eve, and then at night the children have to take off their shoes, put them on the front porch full of carrots and all the candy and stuff <coughs> for the reindeer and Santa. Mm -hmm. And if they're if they weren't gone, then Santa did not bless your house, and you are basically peasants who don't deserve to live. Mm. Mm. Which is commonly true of most peasants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my You wanted to live, why were you so poor, bro? <laughs> Alright, see you later, ladies. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to end my discussion or my contributions at this point because I need food. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to survive. Alright, All right, I guess we're gonna there move this outside and wrap this up. A few final thoughts and everything. Alright, cool. That Burger was, is that was intent <laughs> on children. It was funny. <laughs> Why did I have to wait for that long just to start recording? Oh, Why? now you missed all this. Yeah. You missed everything. All the you, missed the, you missed the porn, you missed the Jews, you missed everything. What are you doing? Nobody man? misses the Jews. The Jews? <laughs> They're dead. They're Most dead. Most have died, so. Alright, we're gonna. Everyone talk into my stomach. <laughs> Hello, stomach. Hello. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Hello, oh, stomach. Oh, going down on him. <laughs> ah! He got kicked in, balls. Oh, my. Fuck. Yeah, just in the microphone. Thank you for every fucking one. No problem. Like, that didn't. I need to sit down like this motherfucker. Like, seriously. Alright, All right. Okay. Right. Why? You guys want to start doing the any last thoughts? The what? Any last thoughts? What? On God? 
Yeah. No, the fact that he's unexisting. Oh, this Please. guy's gonna whoop you. I mean, okay, me, I learned that I'm probably going to have to go talk to Mr. Valdez one of these days after school. Well, so we can't know because they were talking about the non-existence of God, and we were like, we're technically believers, but I, I don't, I'm not like a, a fanatic, you know, I'm not going to go crazy, and then I'm kind of like, I'm sort of on the level of like Valdez, and it's like, I'm 50-50 on it, like, I don't know if God like, actually exists or not, but I don't want to give up the whole idea. No. What? I'm not, I'm not agnostic. What? What? Why are you yelling? Wait, what? I can't speak idiot! You're at the same things clearer! Wow. <laughs> he can guess up! You need a trophy for that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Me here! What Frank Me most, here. Most, most offensive girl. He stole my name and then Me he just there? Went. Yeah. I know. Fucking that asshole. asshole. No? So, Ricky, to clear this out is an asshole. Here. It's all good. <laughs> Brett, you did an episode on annoying people. I was well, I, know, I, was, I, was, I was gonna watch that one. I didn't watch it yet. I need yeah. to watch it. Annoying people slash Kingdom Hearts fan. Yeah. Which ironically, apparently, in the comic in the section, it's PewDiePie's playthrough of Kingdom Hearts. Annoying people. <laughs> yeah, PewDiePie is fucking annoying. No, see, like, I don't, I don't understand how they got so famous. Like, like for, re for me, I really hate Smosh. Like, I don't even know how people watch Fuck. that shit. It, it just hurts. Those stupid, annoying, gay fucking assholes. Yes, it's Where's like, the what the, how the hell are you, like, on the top five? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we have to do an episode on other YouTubers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. We hey, just started attacking people. I'm going to start bashing with gamer tag and then gamers. Woo! We're uh, YouTubers. I just noticed this. Oh my I'm god. Okay. We're not big YouTubers. Hey, but so, YouTubers. so we can still, we can still talk about shit about the big YouTubers. It doesn't matter. We're still I YouTubers. want to become friends with only use me blade. That's like my favorite culture. Huh? Only use me blade. Speaking of, it's so awesome like having him playing in the background. I know, right? But you can't really hear it because it's electric. I need to pull. Well, no, like that one day, like we had to like oh. right up against him, like you could hear it. Oh, it's legit. Like I just did that episode last night. Oh, what are you doing? Though. You look like a. I'm squatting. God. <laughs> all right, so so. It's all right. Are you taking a dump? Right. It's like. Right. Oh! <laughs> Motherfucker, stop shitting all over the place. Okay, so. All right, all right. All right, so. All in all, that was a really good interview. I think I we should it. find some it. more teachers to do because. Well, I'm another cool teacher we could do is yeah, Silva. Silva. Silva's legit. Or and Prentice. Prentice. I don't know Prentice. I wouldn't know. Oh, the guy who's always playing music? Yeah, that guy. I know him. But I, I don't really know him. Oh, I know. Well, yeah, I know. But, We're homies. But he's still awesome. Yeah. Like, he'll agree to do it. Does anyone have him for a class? Who? I do. Apprentice. I do. Hey, we should watch I do. Be like, the topic is poor. Right, I can get yeah. a... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, we still need to make arrangements, because that's only, like, in two weeks. What? That's the true. season finale. Because we're at, we just, this is episode well, I mean, 15. Like, this, we, should, we, we could either 24. do that, like... 24 is the standard season, so... Oh, my gun, though, dude. <laughs> Yeah, well, we gotta get to work on that. Yeah. Okay, so, future interviews coming up. All yeah. in all, that was a great episode. I really I loved agree. it. I loved it. So, you guys ready for a wrap up? Yep. Oh. All right, all right, all right, Ryan. Before Casey comes. Okay. Uh, this is gonna echo. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Too late okay. now, bro. All right, Ryan, play us into it. Three, two, one. I was going with it. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. That's, That's it, it motherfuckers! motherfuckers! Give me crawlers and better seeds, comfits and fritters and long johns, please. Don't hold back, I all those bed claws now. I need me some yum yums and some cream filled round. You wanna get fancy, I'm right there with you. Let's get some fast knocks and some crooked. You wanna keep it simple, I'll take a jelly roll But just don't dare forget